Found some. Get in the boat, boy. Still want me to tie it to the boat? Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different now. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. That was the last. Where do I see my mother? Oh, there do I see my father. Oh, 
people there do they call to me? Well, there do they call to me. 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 She's ready. Find your way home. You are free. Sorry. Squeeze. This knife. It was hers. Now it is yours. She told you don't. She knew. Shall we? Now? Now. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh, this way. Father, why are we doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt, what did you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. Boy, you miss these. Huh. Close. But also not deer. See? Tips are too wide. Mountains up? Your mother taught you well. Yeah.
More tracks? Yeah, but they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh! Now what? This way, boy. Huh! Oh. Wait, deer tracks. They're fresh. This way! Slow down, boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Wow. Go. Oh, what happened here? There it is! Hold! What are you doing? Now its guard is up. Only fire! Holy fire, when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. <clears throat> Find it. Roger. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Wolves. They want me. Yes. 
I imagine they were. Find the edge, boy. Mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. I went hunting with mother a bunch of times. He never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. I just... Yes, Father. What? He can no longer use it. We can.
Atreus, to me! I'm coming, I'm coming! Something's gotta open that gate. it in place. Clever. Over here. Oh look! It's Skull and Hati, the giant wolves who chase the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get up there? What's happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon? And then everybody fights? Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Steady your aim and breathe in. Exhale and release. I got it! Good. It's... it's still alive. Your knife. No. Finish what you started.
I can't. Boy, boy, look at me. We did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. I am ready. Do not speak again. Path home is uh.
different about the world. And I told you not to speak. Silent. We are almost home. Inside, boy. You lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon. If you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you... I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on, then. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. What are you... Try again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! <clears throat> Your anger. You can get lost. 
trust in it. The path ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. Who is that? Quiet. Come on out! There's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, beneath the floor. Now. But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. Be bigger, but you're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter, and yet you hide out here in the woods, like a coward. You do not want this fight. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. to try again you talk too much <laughs> 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 
You won't talk? Fine. Maybe whoever it is you've got stashed in that house will. Your struggle is pointless. It didn't have to be this way. Pathetic! You can't win! I feel nothing! But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying. I'm not my brother. And if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no! Let's finish this. <laughs>
making me feel something, but you can't. Cannot stay here. Boy, there was so much. I, I thought you're all right. I am all right. Come. Gather your things. We are leaving. Thought I wasn't ready. You are not. We have no choice now. Prove me wrong. Yes, sir. It's gonna be a long trip. Yes, but an important one. Whoa. How did this happen? Kill him? I did what had to be done. Could have died. Never leave me alone again. All right? All right. Oh. You've had to kill people before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do what we must to survive. Animals I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Close your heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. They will not feel for you. I understand. Has this been here all this time? Why don't you help me up there? I can get a better look.
made it! Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. Friendly? No. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Huh. Look, all this time, there's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Come. No looking back now. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. Pressure on! How was that? Can I help? If you want to help, distract them. Whoever is not my focus should be yours, but only when safe to do so. I can do that.
Look here. Sir. There's a Yetnar settlement ahead. Yetnar? Giants. You can read the writing. Some. Just the language his mother knew. But they're all sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. You know? Anything else? Space your shots. Speed, cost, accuracy. Got it. Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet. It's fine. See? Father, help! Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! So bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Mm. <sighs> Ugh. More drawler. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, not dead! <laughs> Remember! Accuracy over speed.
Read it. This used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. I wonder if Odin was ever here. Whoa! Above us! Something's breaking through! I don't understand why that man attacked you at our house. I told you, boy. I know nothing more of it. So that's how you get down here. Revan and travel in packs, do you? And there's a bunch of them waiting up there for us? And they're really mad? Boy. Sorry. Imagination. <sighs> I guess we need to get back up there. But how? Follow me. Understand. But... 
You will stay out of it, boy. Speak no more of this. Look here, another. It says his name is... <laughs> Mother told me about it. A giant warrior made of stone. Looks like he's in a really big battle. Odin's there. Thor. <laughs> oh. Thor must have smashed his head apart. Come, boy. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. I've seen this language before. I think it's safer out here. Oh, what's that smell? 
smell. Now! Are they Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look. Someone start the fires! Sigmund, you're nice. So many days without meat. Meat? Wait, us? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. This fight is mine alone. yourself. We must find a way out. That chain, here. Go drop the chain. Okay. Atreus, the chain. The chain, right. You are in your head, boy. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know, I had to do it. I do know that, I just... And we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no! I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. Effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. I understand. Get up and move your ass! <laughs> 
I'll kick you square in the ring if you don't move. Come on! What you waiting for? Come on already! Let's go! Can't get this slow-eyed cocklump to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. Smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever ask mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. Say, uh. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. Ah! You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger be ya dumber That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Now you're talking... Shoot me! Now go shoot something in the face for your old pal, Brock. What else? Something else in mind? Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on, give that axe a twirl. Got a behind there? Oh, 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 oh
You see? See what my touch brought? Adequate. Adequate. You know what's adequate? That foot burst. You step in shit. <laughs> I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Want to see my wares again? Aw, oh, I didn't even see this here. You left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight or we go home. I understand. Good then. Wait. We're back here again. Come. It was nice meeting you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about a name for fucking gratitude? Hey, fucking gratitude, come over here. I like it. Wait there. Follow me, Atreus. Huh! <laughs> 
get out of there. Trust I will not let us die. This way. <gasps> wow. Never been this close to the mountain before. It looks so big. I wish Mom was here to see it. Look at that. What is it? Boy. Look, there are runes written along the side. What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. But I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. those runes say oh it says family that's not a clue it's the answer what I alone can never be right use your knife and trace the runes into the sand really Kinslow something happened I'm happy we met Brock, but I'm happier we're leaving this place. It is behind us now. Boy, these tracks. Hmm, a boar maybe? Not sure, but I'll find it. Go. It is important for a warrior to keep his skills sharp.
What does it say? The rune symbolizes the three Nornir. Nornir? The three. Fate. No good comes from them. Okay. Boy. Yes, sir. Interesting. I may want to write that down. Didn't I? I did what you said and it looked like it bounced off. Could the board be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any board I've ever seen. Get after it then. Stay alert. More of those people? Something else. The bodies are those weird dead things. There's Draugr here, too. They must have been fighting.
One more for the collection. Elbow up, steady hand, relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Well, do not lose it. Boy! Boy! Andreas! What did you do? I'm sorry! Andreas! We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice? I'm... I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. So now... Fuck. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Grey This way. That bow is a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. Said I'd grow into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She... She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm... Sorry for your loss. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. Hemelay! Look! It's all right. Is he friendly? 
boy. I promise you, he's safe. You won't hurt anyone. on the stave there. Keep him still. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root grows just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? It's a white petal flower in my garden. Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's crest. Crest, good. Have you the red root as well? The boy is searching. Perhaps he could use help. Please, the salve is nothing without both ingredients. Hmm. <sighs> Would this help? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... If I lost it, then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on. gonna live? Yes. Then we are leaving. Wait. Not without thanks.
You want solitude? This mark will hide you from... those who might make your journey difficult. below the house that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come, boy. This underground passage should put you back on your path to the mountain. Just use the boat. Wait, and take this. You can use it to orient yourself and navigate the world. It will always steer you towards your goals. How is he? He needs rest. But I think he's out of danger. Does he have a name? Hildas Feeney. He's been a good friend for a long time. I've never seen a boy like him. You said he was the last in the realm? The last in this realm. He's from somewhere else entirely. Back home, he could take any form he liked. But since he came here, he's been stuck. Stuck as a boar? Stuck in his mind. His own true nature grows faint in his memory, like a dream while the illusion feels more real every passing day. I'm not sure I understand. To live, simply to live in your physical form, day after day, it's hard to resist believing you are your form. In youth, he might have had the strength to rebel, but Hildas Feeney is very, very old. Without me to remind him of home, of himself, I fear the boar is all that will remain. Sorry, guess we're going. nightmares. Or they are nightmares. I don't remember which. I wish I could ask. the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here, doing all of this. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods, or even my own beds. You are not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great.
There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that. It's Thor. Thor. God of Thunder. That's right. I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? I see rooms there. This chest. Can't quite make it out. It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? The beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it, and who knows how long. You know of that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looked pretty big to me. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. You rust around like that everywhere?
catch! The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mount in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Best of luck with all the rampages. <laughs> What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button and pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. <laughs> Cipher. I bet I could figure it out. Boy, over here. Sir.
told you. You should come back with the cipher. Look here. Another. Look! It's the world serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. I told you. What is that? That was awful. Poison. We should look for more like this. Oh, what were those things? They smelled awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> She would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Oh, I could use a distraction. And 
And for you? Until we meet again, my friends. Atreus, here! Yes, father! Oh. Oh. Have much to learn. All dwarves are as weird as Brock and Sindri? No. Wonder why they don't get along anymore. I mean, they're family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. Please be careful! I'm still fixing that! Stupid head sheep. Tell me what's wrong with you!
can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. Don't this up, boy. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting her. It will serve you to stop talking. <laughs>
I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graythaw. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Just give that a turn. There. is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, 
Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back at all. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Leos! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead, we heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanir magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait. So did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good.
Leo stuff. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery.
Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Mikkel. Wouldn't that light break go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead, is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? <gasps> I think you killed it. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Look here. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed ones lost. attacking us for. We didn't do anything. More will come. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? Yeah. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. I'll see what I can fit together. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri?
What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Said nothing. Weird. Could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt. Evil. Look, should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. They Maybe. do not concern us. Too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. The elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus.
Hey, that could be valuable. I see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You... know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? It's over the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Fix the bridge from down there. together like that they kind of look like a room it doesn't make sense come back to the sand bowl what else were you going to tell me about war Battles may be won by the better soldier. Sindri said the mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? We found Father? Yes. The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. Ure, why? 
He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. I wonder why they're locked up. Be ready. What? That was worth it. Okay. Tricky. Very tricky. <laughs> you think that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. back there. Oh. I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine.
Way across here. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. You sure the witch is okay? I hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. Ugh, more of it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. Yes. 
them! Light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door then. Hello? Come. We will find another way in. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. Again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. This way. Hey, Sindri. Look here. Another. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. <laughs> Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? <laughs> Hey, how did Sindri get ahead of us? He and the blue one do seem to travel quickly. 
Huh. We're inside. Of course. There, the light. They've covered it up with that stuff. How'd they do that? Look, another light out. What's he doing? Oh no! Why are they killing him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. Like ours. side.
Slide bridges. Follow me. Restoring all the pathways. We're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You are more concerned with our safety than our goal. Quiet! I have him. Your knife boy. That was close. Do not stray from me, boy. You don't gotta tell me. Stay back. Okay. Uh, 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 uh
Jump boy! Right! Look out! Here they come! Stay behind me and protect our flank! Yes, sir! Done! Boy, I will clear our path. Okay. Hold in the time between your volleys. A narrow path negates superior numbers. Stay full. Are you injured? I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful. The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait. It's... It's singing. I hear... I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Oh, that really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want to Stay go. here. We use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I'm letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except... I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. Hey. Wait! Go 
back! No! No! What have you done? Why did you do that? I saved you! You are trapped in there! I waited and I waited, but you wouldn't come out! So I pulled you out! Boy! I was gone only... Moments. No! You've been gone a long, <coughs> long time! I didn't know what to do! You left me here! Again! <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look, there's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. There's a white crystal ahead, just laying there. Maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place. the crystal if you find me an angle let us make our way back up
This is block two. Good man! Order! Here, boy. <sighs> you gonna carry that everywhere? I just might. The blue door that's not a door. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach it? If I want your opinion, boy, I will ask for it. the bowl now. Uh-huh. What does this mean? See. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and see. Stupid rails. So, it's a door after all. Oh no, the boat isn't here. It's still back at the other side of the lake. 
Better we go back the way we came. The lift. They really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then... There isn't a way back up from here, you know. I know. So I could see where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. <laughs> on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be.
Shoot. I know how it works. Sandbowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here. I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Oh! 
Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need something. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Bye. You wouldn't even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Or now you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? I do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? And Sindri made Mom the axe just to help her survive? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. known for my attention to detail. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow- Throughout the realms? Fa- huh. Does this- Yes! Neat. You're very well- I can do what- I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I... Oh, sorry. No. No need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you.
What can I do for you? What do we miss? Try keeping that clean. Clarity, good help. If you're not in a She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. What she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. Came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed sop put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking in your arm.
remember the way back to the Black Breath. Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath or explore? Your choice. Because the boy had... ...always been a thief. And his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but... her ear... that's not right. Oh look! The witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. Boy, over here. Another marker. make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our Boy. Could carry here now? No. But I I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working! She was right! Come, let us finish this. Then we climb.
You know, Mother said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. To Jotunheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. Mel, we made it! More black breath. Stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. What does it say? No yet beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, doth know my call. must have been important to the Giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Rune. The runes. A riddle answer for that sand bowl? It means freedom. Let's try it. What is the riddle? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree doth know my call. Not sure what a thrall is, but freedom fits the rest. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? That helps, right? <laughs> Guess we have to go. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I'm always serious. I've heard I always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your phone. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world's of it? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. There's only one of them.
Look at this place. It feels so... Dead. I was gonna say ancient, but dead works too. This is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure. See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. 
Be grateful he stayed dead. language before. What does it say? Yes, sir. Oh, this is Durothro, one of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Jotunheim while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. Still our goal. We find a way up. The highest peak in the realm. Did you mom move us to the giant's mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. string in some sort of animal. Some kind of lantern? No wit, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. No! What do you think about these torches? The dead don't need light. Eyes open. Claw reaches the summit. Our goal is near. this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... Oh, oh no! I think the rope's stuck. 
stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hmm. Stop! But maybe we can find our way up through that. After, you know, getting rid of those things. around most everything, especially up here. My folks had the run of this place, improved the design of the Jotnar traps and built workarounds to be Wow. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. Heavy. I can move. And we're stuck. Car's still 
I see that. Let's go! That's it! Something special. I can feel it. It's working. Focus up, boy. If it is not useful, leave it alone. I know. Heavy.
Maybe we can make the rope wheel work now. Why give us the way to the top? goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Giants pray. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them, to guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. to watch your mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. Stay back.
tunnel boy. Got it. Be careful. More tests. Wars must have carved these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. It's good for me, anyway. That is not helping. See you on the other side. so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. How much farther do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes, now be ready.
father? After we scatter mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. Sap. And there is power inside. Incredible! I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air goes thin here. No more questions. Oh. Kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you.
plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. did it. And you! Ah! But, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand calling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Um, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy! I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... How do I... Oh, I see. You figured it out on your own, then. Just 
Never mind. I wasn't just explaining the simple and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just anything to help you. Yep. Where'd you learn how to do that, Sindri? Well, after Brock and Come. Right behind. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, bulls, an ogre, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes. I know. Another. This one's called Emi. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too. Oh. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. get tired of shattering things with this.
Atreus, here. Yes, it's getting colder. We must be near the top. Not long now, Mom. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. The broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Enemies ahead! You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and... Piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're in. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. 
Well, we took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just give him time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body through these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. to the witch's house. Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alphine and can bring the mirror back. You seem nice. Before you cut off his head.
Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder. And you fought it and won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. My kind. Now is not the time for that. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No fat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Well, next time. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First we need to find a boat. from here. That one. Behind the big statue of Thor. How about one more story? One more. There was the story of the mother crab, who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward, in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab, too. He should say, sure, I'll look for it as soon as you show me how. Yes, he did say that. That was the story. I got it.
The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful. Do you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. This will lead out. Hey, wait for me. It's locked magically. another one of those bowls of sand up there that I drew the runes into not sure how we reach it there's something up there
Turn back Acer. Guess the gods are welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. now. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. She is here. 
It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring your head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Malin. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It works! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's Temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. <laughs> Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist.
So, Mamir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of his power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Hey. Hey, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Fine. Let's sort you. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You know, envy me. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why you? Direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, he thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there.
So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Our present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. You who walks among the lit. You want. Oh. Really? Boy. I can smell. Boy. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and shot them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out Look while we... Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamor. A very giant giant, who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son, but young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of the air spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason bonked! Struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty claw bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Oh, neat. 
Slick lad. Thanks. His idea. <gasps> Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. This is locked up good. <laughs> the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostile. And I'll find light right there. What does it say? To Njord, we offer back the sea's bounty. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here.
We could try through here. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Wow, that was uh, something, that the uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So 
So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Very well. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Follow me. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do?
Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. Turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You're welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. seems ill-advised. That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that... Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Spring, summer, autumn. When reversed, winter is last. And autumn first. I know. Oh, I know, brother. Just uh, reminding you what you know, you know. Boy. House. Tuma. Flower. Vegetable. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. We're rising! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. He happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. He used to. Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. Writing. 
before the floor collapses. Having a little fun, you big grump. Oh, well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. You know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind.
Those were the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. You just can't help but break things, can you? Memory serves. The Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot Whoa. sons showed up. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. <laughs> Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Us. What does Odin want? No, 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 don't care. Come here, Harry. You don't know that is Harry. Shut up! Don't call me that! Ah! Ah! Can't believe you balance this room. Those sticky little arms can barely be I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. It's up, assholes. Looks like they need another lesson. Oh,
have no idea. You son of a bitch! Oh, no. ah! Get this gun! Oh. Oh. Sickness. Fever has returned. No! It hasn't. Roy! <sighs> the coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father's Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. Not more well than Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment? No. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god?
Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take Wait, utmost care while you? handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. I think. Hey, Sindri, have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> if so, then keep up. Come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring their day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest is sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit yeah. on the other side.
Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Rode a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. Now then, maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Mimir, you were in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the Long War? Enough is enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius and the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Find that magical lock. Brother, the chisel. Here's fall. Another one of these. Another one of these. Here, but the middle panel is missing. Oh, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. 
He smells something. Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! Be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Dumb. That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Stop it! Whoops! I think I broke him! <laughs> no! Stay back! The boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never have a god. The god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Just called the serpent.
Bullen's hotter. He is shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! He is ill. Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dicker past, I swore, would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Uh. Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Now. Freya. When last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you...
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. We'll take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. Of foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well... We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. And what I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you.
Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Watching your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. But Odin can survive this. So I hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the bridge of the damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds admission, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge, it should lead us straight to him. You know, I'd really hope never to see this place again. Blades to burn away that hell's bramble blocking the path. <laughs> that one of the many reasons we went back for those blades. Should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is overwhelmed.
when we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. I don't expect it will, though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? Oh! <laughs> 
Now the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. You're set. Better not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Yeah. Shh. It ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. That wind trap with your blades. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, you can absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leaving. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away from long.
Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck in what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then. Hmm. <laughs> 
made it. Better get home to your boy already. Shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Your father was Zeus? I finally understand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. But it's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself, and it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it, because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. You still will. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. Babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. 
no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes. To find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you.
boy. Have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. Oh my god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Balder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're gods. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. No. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alpha. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than stop them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. 
Seems Tia really liked to travel. Tia believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. In Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the giants working together. Been in here. The stone! That has to be it! <laughs> Naturally. Thought is faster than wind. Solving problems with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. You know, for someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. Rather, a trap for the winds of hell. But where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were six, you went to Helheim to get your cure. <laughs> Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there too? I... but... We'll get back to the slave. Or you may lose it, brother. Well, that's unfriendly. Okay, no, no. 
Passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father. Though. Careful, brother. Leah's not here to bring you back if you're pretty deep. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. The gods live there? Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid. You see in that vault that set you off. It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow, that was almost an apology. Well, I guess you like the flash pottery. Ah.
Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the wings. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. And I thought those saws were scary. The wolf giants. Skull and hot to That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift.
Get out of here. I'm fine. How do we get you out? Gold chains on the wall. But there are three of them. What do I do? Atreus, focus. You can do this. Please hurry. I don't know yet if I can drown. Okay, sick. Hati's the silver one. He hunts them, spoils gold, and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? The middle! Middle bar. Gotta get them in order. Moon left, sun right. With Midgard in the middle. The right boy. Left. Moon on the left, sun on the right. Middle bar. The right boy. That's something. We're not stopping! Wait! What's that big chain for? Father! Above you! Boy! You have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. To do? Her knife? There's no other way! It's not working! The tip works! But it saved you. That was cunning, boy. The road's free! I think we did it! Hi. Let's go see what Tears got for us. No, raised protection room. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going. There it is. We've got it. Boy. this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Blank. 
for us gods. I have beaten bigger. <laughs> Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. We're so close to the end. Rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? <laughs> it's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. Uh. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. 
Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Hey, look what do you want, dwarf? I got another another lead? I'll ex This says now, but it's a name. Rota! Whoa! The name made it light up. It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. I'm gonna tell Syndra I'm a god. I'd like to see the look on his face. No, I may have kept your secret too long, but now you will keep our secret. Her. Focus up! <laughs> I still can't read these. Can you read it? Yes, sir. I can read these now. It says Musbahan. 
The Fire Realm is the gauntlet of the sewer, sir. Like a magic glove? Or a series of dangers. We should go see sometime. Our young god knows no fear. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do- So what? Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh uh Oh, I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh, oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah, we're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Um, all right, that hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. Let me carry her up. No.
Amir, if you knew all along that we were gods, why come up with the story about Odin trying to follow us to Yodenheim before we get there or whatever? Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes uh, are... Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. That's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst. And he's dead. They're no better than us. And they're going to be sorry they picked this fight. me. Me. For what you did to Magni. My old father called me a coward. Looks like he did more than that. Move it. Or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. You killed against my wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself, never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever.
keep your wits about you, boy. If Modi found us, Balder cannot be far. Good. I have a few words for him, too. No, you do not. You will leave him to me. So you can kill him. Because that's what we do to our enemies, right? Because he'd do the same to us. I will do. It's a name, I think. Braslier. It means terror. Let's take him! Hold! Talking to me? Thought you didn't like my tongue. Oh! <laughs> 
Let us be warned. The tunnels I'm seeing in the walls up here show signs of recent dragon activity. We already killed that dragon. Oh, did you then? Well, how'd that go? What does this say? It says, don't wake him. We've got everything else in this mountain. Who else wants a taste?
Boy, over here.
Oh, hello. I didn't know you'd be coming through here. Oh, did you want to say something? No? I'm sure you'll come back when you want something. Sure you wouldn't prefer Brock help you instead? On you two. The silence is getting unnerving. Don't worry about it. We're focusing. Nearly there now. Finally. Boy, the rune. Carve along that.
Still not. We made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why I remember once. Brother, look out! Miss me. <laughs> Run, boy! Cross the bridge! No! I'm a god, too! I can do this! Get off him! Really? Walter, let him go! Take me instead! I'll do whatever you Shut up! All this time, I thought I needed you! You're just me. Uh, Turns out the boy is the brains. No! You broke the gate! That was the only way to Yonai! Uh, stupid son. Bitch! Get out of here, boy. Yes! By all means, Junior, run away. Let Daddy do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let go! Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am ah! ready! <laughs> and here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> oh, your father is right, boy. You are far from ready. Now would you be so kind as to hold this for me? Thank you. Atreus!
activated the bridge! Hey! I asked you a question! <laughs> and when the bridge opens, the full weight of Ascot will come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over, is it? So be it. Kill them, you know I will. What did you do? Stay still. You will listen to me and not speak a word. I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. Wow, it's cold. This is hell? Not just hell. Worst place in hell you could have put us. I see a ship. Get us there. It only takes us halfway to Tyr's temple, but at least it gets us far from here. In a thousand mortal lifetimes, the bridgekeeper kept the living out of this place. But now that you've ripped his heart out, here we are. Funny how it all comes around. Boy. That wasn't me. was me. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. Turn away, boy. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. It wasn't me. I couldn't have done that. Do not dwell on those thoughts. Not here. We must keep moving. Yeah. Ed, what was that? Not just the old and sick come to Helheim. So do the criminals. 
Hell must not draw a distinction between us and those whom these visions are meant to torture. How do we stop it? Escape Hell. As soon as possible. I'm not gonna let it bother. Like you said, Mimir, it was just an illusion. That wasn't me. No. But it is who you have become of late. Look, I know I got us in here. But I'll get us out. Whatever I am. I will get us out. You will follow orders. But maybe that's not who I am. It had better be. Now let me focus. Don't mean to hurry you. Faster? Let me think. I see Balder up ahead. No. No, I would never stay out of sight. You, you had no right. I have every right. I am your mother. You had no right, witch. I can't taste. I can't smell. I can't even feel the temperature of this room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. God to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die? Never feel again? Yes. Yes. I would rather die. Yes. Take it away. I can't. Please. Please. Please take it away. It doesn't work like that. Son. Trust in time. What you did to me. Freya is his mother. Why did you what keep this you from us, Ed? Would you believe it slipped my mind? I would not. 
Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you I've no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this. Soon.
Entirely sure this is seaworthy. She will do. Give me space to work. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanir built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Skifblothnir? Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. Perhaps the biggest iceberg I've ever seen. At least the fire's making heat. What now? Chopping it? So now the sails are loose? Just watch. Stay with a boat. I can't believe it. We just met a huge skyline. Stay on the boat.
stuck on this bridge over here. it's over, don't you? Even if we make it back to Midgard, you and Balder destroyed the only gate to Jotunheim. We are out of options. And that boy up there, he's in nine kinds of pain. His head's turned so far around... Atreus he... is not your concern. Well, he might become everyone's concern if you don't do something. You don't have to be the smartest man in the world to see that. Atreus. I can help? Together now. to end this! Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. Viper! Viper! Hold on!
How long before we reach the temple? Yeah, it's freezing. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad.
realm now as long as we didn't wreck our way back Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? This is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Hi. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. 
No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose. Ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace. Enemy. Hope. Other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. See anything? You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? tell us Baldur is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Baldur and Freya... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, but back when I figured out Boulder's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. 
alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See? How inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. There. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Princess. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going. Now we just need to figure out. Here's Rune. This is it. We're inside! But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Father, look up there. Up there. Fear used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Right next to the Udenon door. Interesting. Can we reach it? Not from here. Oh, it's behind there. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like a more giant. Whatever Tyr did for them must have been big.
Whoa, who are they? Boy, this is the room for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving! Watch moving. Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> We can flip the temple. All right. Do you what now? Uh oh, things are happening. Okay, I don't think they're attacking. Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach the whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. Sure, what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms? I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to your night. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Another. It says his name is Virgilmir. I think Mother said he was the king of the universe. Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That little brother. Come, boy. Okay. Again with the death trap. <laughs> I'd have thought, brother. Why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Mm.
time to do what you do, brother. Another piece of the language cipher. Good. Until gods grow good. Could be quite the way. No. They're just waiting for us. is so
truly do hate this part. I know. I, for one, never doubted. Right. Now we can decipher those new blind rooms. And the travel rune is here, too. You want to go? Leave them in peace. Obviously not referring to us.
Yes, sir. In time to flip the temple. Yes, sir. What? Just agree to stop saying flip the temple. It's starting to sound normal. I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tears Test. That's why we're gonna make it to Odenheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lads, found his equilibrium. What's that mean? Those who speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. What have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great Aldumblas at us. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel at Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. You're saying Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking to reach the secret path to Yodanon, that's what we need to do? Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks.
This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. This is incredible! Oh, how can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on. That was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling to your spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. it smells like me. Oh, no, this is considerably worse. Here they come.
that. Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. And look, now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. Another name. Gloindo. <laughs> Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? Something else we can do for you? Nah, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah, well, boy. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. Why do you got eyes like him, Amir? I've got 
not an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. They've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot. But for years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin. Sorry. Will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh, no. We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. Time to make sure you're here. Once more to the horse. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. Good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in a giant's belly either. How about you, father? Never one that was not trying to. You really should expect that sort of response at this point.
dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Ah, smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. But like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? There, the hammer. I can still see through it. Yep, that's an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? Mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother.
boy. I'm good. I think I'm getting kind of used to this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Freya. We can still trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you... You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you... How, how I feel? How I feel. <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, <laughs> I realize. I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel. 
feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now? Coming back now. Now he remembers. She controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you. You can't stop me. No one can. Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. I will not let him die. How touch it. This will all be over soon. Ha ha ha! 
do this! There! Stop him! Even the All Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Uh, ironic, isn't it? What? Yourself, can you, mother? 
no matter what, what I do or say, you won't, you won't stop interfering in my life. I was just trying to protect you. I was. I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. No. No. We can. Because I will never. Lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. Just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you'll be. 
we must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice for anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. Last time. say we cost it. Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, the one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. What's got you all bumped? Such impulses can lead Get good going. parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Well, next time. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to plan, go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady Sif soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Where are they now? The Giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. Huh. Who's the Guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Happening. 
It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Goodbye, Faye. 
I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us, goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We you missed it. There's still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else?
Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? What kind of omens? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this from a hundred more. I'm telling you, it's Fimblewind. I can feel it in my scroll. Next time. the unity stone didn't it? I wanted to fly again yes that's a terrible pity okay tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did Odin is extremely clever you see nearly as clever as he thinks he is and he's a collector of prophecies if it's about the future he adds it to his collection helps him style himself as all seeing and all knowing but of course the idea is control Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs> 